Macbeth opens on a shot of a dead infant and the child is surrounded by grieving family and friends. The movie then quickly continues on to one of the first battle scenes. Battle scenes top and tail the movie and they're surprisingly explicit, even given the familiarity of the tale of Macbeth. One of the reasons they come across as so brutal is through the director's use of slow motion and sped up camera work. So you really do feel like you are right there in the middle of the action. You feel the brutality, the anger, the desperation of the people fighting around you. But even more so, it's the close up camera work and the framing of when you see wounds being inflicted. So you see people being run through with swords, shot with arrows, hacked and slashed and so forth. But you do see a very close up and quite convincing sequence of a throat being sliced. You also see wrist slicing. So being battle scenes, there's a lot of blood, a lot of gore, and you do see a lot of people covered in blood and gore, sort of matted over their bodies and over their heads uh, after the battles. And of course, you know, battlefields strewn with, with corpses. You also see one young, younger boy, probably teenager, perhaps around 15, who dies in battle, but then is a recurring kind of ghostly apparition for one of the characters. So he does sort of return and haunt one of, one of the people in the film. You see a dog grazing on corpses and you also see a severed head. But despite the brutality of all the battle scenes, probably one of the most disturbing scenes of the film is actually later on when a, a mother and her three children are tied to wooden stakes and burnt alive. This particular scene is uh, associated with, you know, there's a lot of screaming, there's begging, there's, there's pleading. And so there is a, an association of a lot of alarm around this, this particular scene. Another scene of a kind of mild violence, but is also a little bit disturbing is when a husband points his knife against his wife's belly. Now he doesn't actually break skin. They are both fully clothed, but he kind of toys with her. And the scene does go on long enough that you are made to feel a little bit uncomfortable and, and uneasy. This same couple, there is a sex scene between the two of them, this husband and wife, they're fully clothed, but it does actually tie in with the violence somewhat because they're discussing a violent act, the potential of a murderous plot while they're having sex. And there's the implication that the man is actually getting quite turned on by the idea of the violence. So similar with the knife pointing scene where he points the tip of knife into her belly, in this scene uh, during it and kind of towards the end of it, he slips his hand underneath his wife's skirt. So there is the suggestion that violence and sex are kind of mutual for this particular character. There's no other nudity or no real nudity at all in the film, um, not even any cleavage or anything like that. The word whore is used once, um, being Shakespeare, it's fairly poetic. There is alcohol in the film. Uh, you see people drinking at a, at a party, at, at gatherings, uh, at, just out of cups and goblets. So it's really the implication that they're drinking ale and wine. You do see a bit of intoxication and people passed out the next day. There's also the suggestion of poisoning. Um, a man does drink for a bowl of this kind of gooey and blood-like liquid and following the consumption of this liquid he suffers hallucinations. This is of course the sequence when he meets the weird sisters or the witches. So there's prophecy and fortune telling connected with this scene. No offensive language or, or swearing at all in the film. So Macbeth is directed by Justin Kurzel and stars Michael Fassbender and Marion Cotillard. And you can see my full breakdown of the content of the film on cinemum.net.